Uh, all right, those are the uh, examples I can think of for aldehydes and ketones. Um, do you have more questions about that, or should we go on to carboxylic acids? And if you have two ketones, it's diamine, right? Yeah, so uh, let's... Uh, and before we go to carboxylics, mm -hmm. can we do like esters and those also? Yeah, that'll be part of the carboxylic acids. Oh. That's right, because those are acid derivatives. Are, and are like anhydrides part of that? Because those are acid derivatives too. Yeah. Okay. That's why he said number two. Yeah, the textbook doesn't have any examples of diketones, but uh, I suppose those would be called dions. Oh, okay. A ten dion, like the one that we just drew. Pardon? Like if that one would have a carbon chain, it would be two ketones. Would it be like two four pentadiene? Because like I know we call it a one five dicarbonium. So, for example, this I think would be called, you got it. They don't have examples of this in the book, but logically it looks like this would be a 2 3 butadiene. Uh, without yeah. the butun. Oh, a butandione? Uh, this seems a little bit more, more pronounceable, so I think it would be called a butadiene. That's, that's, that's what you do for alcohols. You don't call it. Pentandiol, you call it pentadiol. Sometimes they make little adjustments um, just for pronunciability. Pronunci <laughs> All right, so should we go on to the carboxylic acids? Sounds All good. Right. Do you do anything in chemistry, like one rule that doesn't have an exception? 